I'm Brad. This is DIY Wouldn't You. And today, I'm fixing my lawnmower. Because I broke it. So I was mowing last weekend, and I looked down and noticed that the discharge chute was dragging the ground. Now, I'm not sure exactly how this happened. I think I have an idea. two plastic clips that are molded into the chute that a spring pin goes through and the front bracket actually broke. So the part that goes around the pin is still there and the discharge chute is separated from it. I've looked up the part and it's not that expensive. It's maybe $35. But if we can do it with something that we may have laying around the house or something that we could pick up for cheaper, I'd rather do that temporarily or for good, depending on how well it does. Difficulty level on this project here is going to be as follows. Do you have a right or a left hand? In your lawn, do you have grass or dirt? Oh, you should be just fine then. But for this repair, all you're going to need is hose clamps. I bought a two-pack of hose clamps at my local Advance Auto Parts store for three bucks. These hose clamps are a size 12. It says it's for half inch to inch and a quarter hose. You're also going to need a drill and an eight millimeter socket. And last but not least, safety goggles. So what you're gonna wanna do is loosen your hose clamp up until it pops all the way out using your eight millimeter socket. I'm going to center it up front to back in between here. I'm using an eighth inch drill bit just so there's plenty of room and I won't risk the clamp cutting into the plastic here. You can drill a hole at each end and use your drill bit to kind of eat through the plastic from one hole to the other hole. actually seem to work pretty good. Clean that out a little bit. It's not the prettiest, but it'll work for our purposes. Now we're going to put the strap around through here and through our hole that we drilled. Feed your hose clamp into the other side and start tightening down with your socket. I would be careful to make sure that the threaded part is on a more flat surface and tighten this down until you feel that it's secure. Looks pretty strong. This is not a paid product placement for Toro lawnmowers. Well, I mean, duh, because it's not like I use Toro parts or whatever. But yo, Toro, if you start like noticing increasing your sales or whatever because of this video or something, uh, you know, maybe you, like hit me up. I just wanted to uh, look at how the repairs doing that we did here. So if you look where we drilled, it's fine. Uh, this piece seems to have slid just a little bit, but that's okay because there's nothing really keeping this piece from sliding back and forth. So, I would call it a success for now. I've mowed, uh, I guess this was about the fourth time that I mowed since fixing this, and it seems to be holding up okay. So, rather than spending the $35 on the discharge chute, I'll probably just leave it for now. 
Thanks for watching DIY Wouldn't You. If this video was helpful at all, click the like button. Maybe subscribe to the channel. We're doing some cool stuff. We got more projects coming up, and we'd love to see you back. Thanks for watching. See ya. get this thing fixed so my wife can mow for me. Oh, I'll probably mow.